All right, I've got the board out, and basically uh, what I had to do was disconnect this connector and that connector for the uh, all the little the rows of push buttons on the front of the synthesizer. Those two go here and here, and these connectors you have to actually flip up uh, the tab so that it'll release them. Then these connectors, uh, this ribbon cable here and here, they go in here and here, and they just simply pull out and then slip back in. I decided to leave this connector and this connector in place because it was giving me a little bit of trouble. So instead of trying to force it and break something and then just destroy my synthesizer here, I left them in because I can have plenty of cable to bring it over here and do what I need. The culprit that I'm after is right here. It's a voltage regulator and it's a reset IC uh, for the computer. So basically when you turn this, com this uh, on, a signal comes out of this that goes to the MPU. Uh, I forget which one, but one of these chips is the uh, central processor the computer and when the reset signal gets to it it knows to go to uh, the memory and start reading the program at basically line one if it doesn't get that reset signal then it goes into a stupor because it doesn't know that you've powered it on and to go start at the first line of code so what I've done is I've ordered a replacement and it is NTE 7124 I got it from Mouser and this is the part right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one out and put this one in and then we'll see if that uh, fixes the problem because I tell you what it really sucks when you go to turn the synthesizer on and it either it's a crapshoot whether it comes on or not and you're like turning the thing on and off on and off on and off until it comes on and half the time it doesn't come on or you get some kind of garbage. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and flip this over and what I'm going to be going after is right here. Grab my pen. It's going to be right here. I need to desolder, pull that out, and take the new part and put it in. Uh, on a side note, you'll see these wires here. That is uh, my makeshift uh, power supply. Uh, when I got this synthesizer, it didn't have the 12 volt AC power supply, so I took a 12 volt DC power supply. I disengaged the uh, rectifier that turns the AC into DC, and I basically just hooked it straight into the board so I could power it up. And it works, but I've got better plans for that later on. But for now, let's just see if I can get the reset signal to work right.